February is CTE month. We also take a look at partners. Also on the show, basketball and hockey results. We talk about wind and take a look into the future. Stay tuned for all that and more right here on JDTV News. Welcome to today's news. I'm one of your hosts, Kai Crocker. And I'm Tyler Morgan. Let's get on to the news. With the Juneau Police Department creating the Year of Kindness, a group of students and staff decided to create their own program at JDHS. This club is pretty doing sorry. This club is doing some pretty neat things for our community. Hello, my name is Hello. I will introduce you to a new club at JDHS called Partner Club. It's basically a way of helping students, regular education students and special education students, get together and be more active together in things in the community. So there's lots of ideas of what we could do, and there's different activities we could do, and we're just slowly starting to get the ball rolling on it. I love being able to um, do uh, craft things. So we craft, we cook. Um, everybody that comes in has a smile on their face, we listen to music, we have a good time, and everybody's happy. Partners Club was restarted this year. Years ago we had what was called Friends Club, and when Ava Mead came to school this year, her sis older sister had been in Friends Club, and she asked if we could restart that club. We decided to restart Partners Club because it's supported by Special Olympics and it ties nicely into some of the other programs we have around school. This year before the 2017 Kindness Challenge, we actually went down to IGA and we handed out kindness cards. So we actually started that before even the 2017 Kindness Challenge came aboard. And we also will be starting a um, mobile hot chocolate unit that we're going to be um, going around town and bringing hot chocolate to people. And we're also going to be playing um, games at the bridge with some the elderly in this town. And we're going to start doing that next week. Well, that is awesome stuff. Back to the desk. Thanks for looking look into Partners Club, Fubo. As you might have noticed, the walls in the commons have been decorated. That's right, Kai. As always, Homecoming Week started off with the decoration of the walls in the commons. Last Sunday, participants from all classes worked together to decorate their area based on their theme. Every student class got more points for each student that showed up to help. In addition to the score given by the judges, stay tuned for the final scores. Good luck to all participating classes. Now, the walls aren't the only thing happening this week. That's true, Kai. Let's take a look at some of those activities. While most JDHS students are eating lunch in the commons, some are chosen to participate in the homecoming activities. This is another fun way for students to represent their classes and show their spirit. This week they have participated in quizzes and games like tug of war, cornhole, hungry hippos, and other activities. Today, during the assembly, we'll be watching students participating in the last homecoming activity this week. Each activity students participate in gives them a chance to win points for their class. With all the games going on, it may be hard to keep track of all the points we've accumulated. So, here's Aaron with the update on the scores. Thank you, Kai. Well, the students have been hard at work this week. The scores so far are light, and the final scores are still to come. But, so far, the students have participated in Mac Track and the wall decorations. First off was the Mac Track scavenger hunt back in November, where the juniors scored with 100 points. For the wall decoration, the freshmen landed 429 points, sophomores 460, juniors in the lead with once again 489 points, and seniors are close behind with a score of 481 points. And that brings you up to date with the homecoming scores. Make sure to cheer for your class. Back to you guys at the desk. Thank you, Aaron. This month happens to be Career and Technical Education Month. CTE Month, for short is for students to explore different careers and job opportunities to help them get an understanding on what to do in the future. Let's jump into one of the CTE classes being taught at JDHS. This is the JDHS house build team. First project started the year 2010-2011 and are now building the third house today. For the year 2016 and 2017, about 12 people are working on the same house. 
which includes 10 students, a JDHS teacher, and a UAS teacher. Uh, I love teaching house bill. It's, it's a lot of fun. I like working with all you guys. Um, I never say that I'm going to work. It's always I'm going to school. I don't view it even as work. And it's fun to see students learning new things. And what a better way to showcase what a person knows than to be able to build something or do something or not trap behind a desk. So it's pretty cool. Um, it definitely kept me out of getting uh, into other classes, and I didn't want to take any other classes, so yeah, I do. It's pretty great. I mean, we get to go outside, build a house for two periods. It's pretty fun, I'd say. We have a good group. I feel like it's an appropriate amount of time. Um, you can definitely get out here and get stuff done, but especially in the winter, it's not too long to where we're freezing like I am right now. Uh, you should take house build because there's a lot of good careers associated with house building and in the construction trade. So this class opens students' eyes up to the possibilities of a career in construction. So that's another good reason to take the class. Cool. We'll be trying to take some construction work past on high school. That was the JDHS house build team. Keep up the good work out there, guys. Now let's jump right into sports with Joseph. Thanks, Tyler. Last weekend, the Bears went fishing for a king salmon and roared at the Falcons. On Friday night, the girls' varsity basketball team went up against Thunder Mountain girls' basketball team, and the Bears won from 55 to 27. And on Saturday night, the boys' varsity basketball team went up against K High's boys' basketball team, and the Bears lost 78 to 68. The fish started to fight back. For hockey on Friday, G DHS went up against Lytherop and won from 9 to 1. And on Saturday, JDHS went up against Lytherop again and won 7 to 0. Nice job, Bears. And that's all we have for sports this weekend. Back to you. Thanks, Joseph. Now let's talk about what's happening this upcoming week. Today at 5 p.m., the girls' basketball team will play Saldotna. Also tonight, the boys' basketball team will be going up against THMS at 7. The winter play also starts at 7 p.m. The Sitka Jazz Festival will be ongoing throughout the weekend. And finally, the hockey team will be in Fairbanks for a conference tournament. This Saturday, the girls basketball team will be playing Saldana again at 5 p.m. The boys basketball team will be playing Team HS again at 7 p.m. The homecoming dance starts at 9.30 p.m. and ends at 12 p.m. The winter play is at 2 p.m. and 7 p.m. Pink slips for all activities are due this Monday. Site Council has a meeting at 5 p.m. Now let's take a look at this week's weather. Take it away, Marshall. Thanks, Kai. I hope you are all surviving the winds that's blowing downtown and Douglas. That's being caused by a high pressure area over northern Canada. And all that air is rushing down over the mountains and over the Juneau Icefield to the sea, causing the Taku winds. It should be calmed down over the weekend. For today, it looks like the sun is coming out and spring is right around the corner. Expect today to have highs of 29 and lows of 22 along with clear skies. And tomorrow, we also have highs of 29 with lows of 22 with more clear skies. But on Sunday, it warms up and we have highs of 30 and lows of 25 with clear skies in the day, but getting cloudy in the evening. And I hope you all have a great weekend. Back to you two at the desk. Thanks, Marshall. Thanks, Marshall. Now we take a look, look at a little biography of Kai's. Hello, and welcome to my school bio. I'm Kai, a high school freshman just looking for an easy way to do things. I go to JDHS, Juno Douglas High School. Now since this biography is about me, Kai, from an early age, has loved sushi. So basically, Kai loves raw fish. He also loves computers. He also does not like being on camera very often. Cut that now. He also isn't opposed to trying new things. He also sometimes speaks in third person. Kai's favorite animal is a turtle. All right, I'm done. How, how do I get this thing off? Well, that's all we have time for. Um, thanks for watching.